when our ship left Brazil with our cargo holds full of corn. It took us about two weeks to cross the Atlantic, enter the Mediterranean, and arrive at our discharging port in Damietta, Egypt. We were scheduled to stay in port for about five days, and while we were there, our ship was inspected by port state control as expected. Since we always prepare for these inspections, all of our equipment and the ship itself was in good shape. We were able to get through it without any issues. It was a job well done by each and every member of the crew, so the captain and I ordered a few boxes of pizza to make everyone feel that their hard work and cooperation was greatly appreciated. Since we had a few days in port, we also managed to do a few maintenance jobs. Right now, our ship is discharging cargo here in Egypt, and at present, I have been on board for almost seven months now. Actually, I was supposed to sign off from this port, but unfortunately, there was some mix-up and some changes in the scheduling, which is why my reliever won't be able to make it on time. So the office informed me that I will most likely be signed off when the ship arrives at the next port. Now, under normal circumstances, having a crew change is a bit of a complicated thing, especially for ships like bulk carriers, which don't have fixed schedules. But now with the pandemic still going on, it became <laughs> a lot more complicated. The main reason why it's a lot more difficult to conduct crew changes nowadays is because of the countries, of course, which restrict movements in and out of their territories. Understandably, it's for the protection of their own citizens. But a lot of seafarers have been on board over contract, more than 12 months. I know someone who has been on board for 16 months. I know someone who has been on board for almost two years without going home, unable to go home because unfortunately for them, the ships they are working on right now just call on countries which do not allow crew changes to happen. But anyway, I'm just so relieved, I'm so lucky that the ship trades in countries which allow crew changes, which is why even though it's going to be delayed for more than a month, it's still going to happen, and it's going to happen soon.
and before we knew it, cargo operations were finished and our ship left port and headed to the Black Sea to load our next cargo in Russia. On the way there, we had to pass through Istanbul Strait. During the previous times that I passed through here, it was almost always nighttime, and it was a sight to behold. But passing here during the daytime, especially in the morning at this time of year, presented an equally beautiful sight, but evoked a different mood altogether. Eventually, we reached our destination. We will be loading another shipment of coal, so even though the voyage from Egypt only took about four days, we weren't so pressured because cargo hold cleaning was not required. We still had to wait for our turn to enter port though, so for the meantime, we were instructed to drop anchor at the designated area. At this point, I've been on board for seven months, already over contract by one month. But after more than 20 years of being in this industry, I've already gotten used to the delays and the sudden changes in schedule. Anyway, it's really not that bad. Like I said, I've been here for seven months. So what's a few more weeks, right? <laughs> 